So you've started playing your Oni Movies Hustle. Maybe you've messed around in single player, comboing a dummy whilst you have the time of your life. But now, you want to brave the realms of multiple players. Multiplayer. You have a host or join a game with default settings. Eventually. Get matched up against an experienced opponent. Pick your character and end up here. With default match settings, you have 30 seconds to decipher what is effectively rock, paper, scissors with a hundred odd combinations. With that in mind, let's say you lose neutral. It happens, at which point their combo looks something like this. In a few turns, you've gone from a player to the dummy. You may ask yourself, what can I do in this situation? And the answer? Die. I mean, DI. The blue circle. In game, the eye is described as adjusting the angle and speed you are knocked back next time you are hit, and you can use the eye to alter this player's trajectory and throw off opponents when they are getting hit. They. As you can see, the game doesn't do the best job of explaining the eye if you don't already know what it is. So what is the eye? Basically, if you get hit, you get knocked more in the direction of your DI. The eye right, and you get knocked more to the right. The eye left, and you get hit more to the left. In this example, more left is just less right, although in some cases it will cause a move to knock you in that direction. There's also a component of the eye called nudge DI. This immediately nudges you in the direction you are DIing. Wizard's Vial Clutch is the best example of this, however it applies to most moves. As you can see there is a clear nudge as you are hit. Also it is indicated by a yellow arrow when hit. So now you know how to DI, when should you use it? Always. It costs nothing to do and can cause your opponent to be unable to do optimal combos. God bless. Which way should you DI? It depends. As a rule of thumb, away from your opponent. This will mean you get knocked out of enemy range quicker. Alternatively, it is possible to be so close to your opponent that they cannot hit you with their most damaging attacks. This may sound counterintuitive, the eyeing to get hit more, but to keep it short, combo damage scaling exists. My best advice for DI is to manage your expectations. It is a strong tool for forcing your opponent to do less damaging combos, but this does not mean it will get you out of a combo immediately. Even with good DI, you will find yourself in long combos. The difference is that you'll only be taking 3.5 thousand damage as opposed to 6.5. That said, if you are playing multiplayer and don't see the yellow arrow when you hit your opponent, remember, they are the dummy. Combo them like one. Ping the guy with this profile picture to DI instantly.